my name is Corey, and I am going to be giving you a very brief overview of how to put together a quilt. I'll be showing you how to make pieces, how to cut, how to put the pieces together, how to sandwich it, and then how to finish it with a binding. What I'm going to do is create something a little similar to this. It's kind of a mini quilt that has all the pieces of, an, of a large quilt that's just very small, a backing, a binding, and then the patchwork pieces on the front. The fabric that I'll be using is this chicken, which will be much like the skunk. These three pieces that will be a contrasting side that will be pieced together along with this. This pink with black dots will be what we use for the back. And then this green is what we'll use to bind it off. In between that, when I get the front pieced together, then a piece of batting will go in between. To cut my pieces, I'm going to be using a rotary cutter and this straight edge ruler. Rotary cutters are very sharp and a great way to cut pieces for quilts when you don't have to cut a lot of curves. They're really good for strong, for long straight edges. So that's what I'm going to be using to put this quilt together, along with some other things, a sewing machine, some pins, some clips, and we'll get to that point. So now uh, let's start cutting. pieces are cut. Here's the chicken. Here are the three pieces that we'll use to piece a little side over here. The batting, the cutting, and the binding will worry about, or the batting, the backing, and the binding will worry about cutting in a little while. For now, we're going to go over to the sewing machine where I also have a nice hot iron sitting right next to it so that we can sew these pieces together and then we'll be able to start the sandwich. So we've put the patchwork quilt block together, as you can see, it's all put together. And we have the backing cut, and as you can see, they are the same length. But when I flip the backing over and I put the quilt block on top, you can see that that backing is a little bit larger. So I'm just gonna really quick trim that down so it is the same size as the front. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that yet. Because I also have this batting that I need to put in here. So I need to cut a piece of it that will fit too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the top piece off. I'm just gonna lay this right over the bottom. You can kind of see it. So you can kind of see the bottom through it just a little bit if you look. And then I can lay this top piece right on, right on there like that. I'm gonna grab some pins and I'm gonna pin these three layers together. So we're making like a fabric sandwich with batting in the middle. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw a few pins in there so that I can check. It looks very much like I'm good there. I should be fine there. So now I can take my rotary cutter and I can trim this end off. I don't need that. I can trim this side. 
I don't need that. I'm not sure I got through the fabric, so let's go. There we go. Now that fabric's off. Now I can turn it back around here and you can see my edges line up. I've got a nice straight edge there. I'll get this edge done. And there we have a nice little sandwich quilt, right? So we've got straight edges all the way around, nice clean edges. Now I can take this over to my sewing machine and I can do a little quilting on it. And then we'll cut the binding and then we can put the binding on it. we've got the quilting done. You can see that on the back I did very simple quilting just along the straight lines around the chicken and on the other lines. So it's time to cut and make the binding so we can finish off this quilt. So I'm going to cut this green fabric. I'm going to cut two inch strips because they'll be folded in half so they'll be an inch wide when I sew them on plus we'll lose some to seam allowance. So I'm gonna cut them two inches and I'm gonna cut two strips so that I have enough to go all the way around this small quilt. Okay, I'm gonna take these strips over to my ironing board and to my sewing machine. I'm going to stitch them together at a short end and then I'm going to iron them in half with the wrong sides together. So the right side will be facing and they'll look a little like that. And then I will come back over here and we'll get ready to sew. So here's our binding. It's all folded in half, pressed, and it's ready to put on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a few inches for a tail and then I'm gonna pin this on to the back of, and I'm gonna pin it all the way around and I will miter the corners so that they'll be nice and square. And I'm gonna pin it all the way around and then I'm gonna stitch all the way around it. Once that's done, I'm gonna flip it around and then I'll clip it so that it will wrap around to the front and we'll stitch one last time all the way around. Okay, binding is on. Now I'm gonna fold it all around. I'm gonna use these little clips to clip it in place and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, now that it's all clipped, I'm going to take it back over to the machine and I'm going to stitch all the way around this edge. Now, I am going to machine bind this, so I'm going to use the machine to do that last finishing stitching. Many quilters on a large quilt or a quilt that they want to be sort of heirloom quality, they'll hand stitch that last round of binding and so that it looks more hidden but because this is just a small little thing that I'll put on a desk or use somewhere I'm just going to use a decorative stitch and stitch right around this now that it's all clipped in place so I'm gonna head on over to the machine <music> sewing machine. I put all my clips back and there is our finished product. You can see I maybe didn't pick the best stitch but I thought it looked a little bit like chicken wire so I thought it would be fun. But there you go we've got binding on and there is a mini quilt. 
So those are really the steps to putting together a quilt. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you learned something. Thanks. Thank you.